Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Houdini tutorial. Today we're having a look at how to transfer one groom from a character to another character. For this to work, we will need the characters to share the same UVs and obviously topology in that case. And for this, I am using metahumans because they have the same UVs no matter what they are, male or female. Okay, so what you can see here is I've got my two meshes and they're just the faces uh, without all the other pieces of geometry. So the eyes and the eyelashes, etc., have been removed. Uh, and I just did that in Maya separately. Um, you could actually separate them out um, from the FBX in Houdini as well, I believe. I just did in Maya because it was already there. Um, with the groom already set up, we want to transfer it over to our existing, our new groom. Something worth mentioning though is that um, before we export, uh, we do want to get rid of this transform. I actually don't need that mask either. Um, I'll put this transform back in so we can see them next to each other though because you may have yours transformed uh, just so they're a little bit um, easier to show side by side. So how I like to do this to keep it nice and neat is to create a new geometry node and we're just going to call this node guide transfer. With that we'll need to have three OBJ merges so we'll just paste that a couple of times and those merges will be the guides, the source, and the target. So the guides obviously being the hair guides, the source being the skin source, um, and then the target being the target skin, so the other head. We then need to grab our guides from this here. Now this here I've done in two pieces as you can see here. I've done one piece for the sides and one piece for the top. So I'm just gonna do the top here and if you wanted to keep these as two separate grooms you can do it that way. If you did merge them obviously there'd be a little bit more involved in terms of merging the guides. Um, I'm just treating this as if you did it with just one set of groom guides. So what we need are the guides from in here. I did this with groom bear but this will work with any um, version of grooming. So if you just did it with a standard Houdini groom this works the exact same way. What we are needing is the guides output, so um, whatever is coming out of here. So what we'll set is a null, and this null we'll just set to um, groom out, so actually we'll call it out groom long, or top or whatever is more, um, makes sense. And I'll just add that in there as well. Then we can now just take this and use it for our OBJ merge. So we can select that node and hit Control C. And we'll go into our guide transfer, select guides and Control V. And they'll give you that path. It's kind of a nice, easy way to do it. Um, the next one we need is our source. And that is our geometry here. Um, we do want to get the last source in this case. Um, in case you did any transforms, uh, just making sure that the groom is lined up with the head uh, geometry. So we'll copy that one and we'll go into guide transfer to source and paste that. If I isolate this you should see it looks like this and this. And then finally the target mesh is going to be our one here and I want to get the target mesh pre-transform so the input is usually the best place to grab that from. So it's going to copy this one and paste it in there. So that will be our um, target. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. Next, we'll use a guide transfer node. And this has just got your three inputs, so the guides, the source skin, and the target skin, um, obviously conveniently laid out in the same order as what I had set here. And if we select our guide transfer, we'll get an error. Uh, that's currently because we've got attribute class for the UVs set to vertex. We want it set to point in this case. Now, if one of yours, for example, the source um, had its UVs on a vertex class, you could always do an attribute promote and plug that in there. And then you can just use the original name uh, UV lowercase and say it was going from uh, vertex to point, you do it that way, and then you can see here now that we've got uh, UVs as a point attribute, whereas previously they would be a, oh, so 
originally they were a point attribute so if we reverse that to vertex you could see here now we've got uvs as a vertex attribute so quick easy way to do it i think on the maybe on the old uh, metahumans are on vertex for some reason possibly um, or i just made a change at some point um, in the pipeline with one of my versions so in my testing i found that's a way to correct that if you were getting that error there uh, if we look at our options here there are deform guides and sometimes you might need to pull this up as well to have it look more like your uh, original so if you look at that uh, look at them side by side that may look a little bit closer um, you will have to make a judgment call based on what's happening with yours uh, generally i find setting it to one and a radius 0.05 seems to give me uh, a relatively similar result so we can hide the guide transfer because we don't actually need to look at it and we now need to set up our grooms for our uh, right hand mesh the male mesh we can just copy this guy groom and we'll paste it and we'll deconnect uh, disconnect it and we'll also jump into our original and we're just going to copy all of these masks um, that i've created uh, which are for the different uh, top and side parts and etc i'm just going to copy those and i'm going to paste them into uh, this mesh here and the reason for that is because i'm using the masks to define the density in some cases so if you are doing that um, because your uvs are the same these should line up and we can see that if we for example look at this one um, set it to that you can see that's the sides and the back masked and that is the top and that is everything so a quick way to transfer it over because the uvs are shared that makes it nice and easy for us we'll create a null here as well at the end of this chain just to keep everything nice and tidy and this is going to be out male skin all right and we can plug that into here and if we look at this like i um, we had earlier this is because i copied it across that note's not important um, we don't need the groom bear guide um, so we can delete that we can delete our out groom and what we need to do is do an obj merge and we need to merge in our guide transfer so we'll just create a null for that one as well and we'll call this out out transfer top because uh, this is the top groom copy that and go into our guide groom and paste there so we should see that we've got those uh, guides and we just replace the guides input with our merge everything else stays the same and if we inactivate that uh, actually i made a slight error there i do want this guide transform source uh, to be post transform so in that case that's going to be the post transform for our uh, mail out so we'll just take that skin and we will go in here and this is the target mesh so now that will actually align to the transform position of the mesh so for the input we want to pre-transform for the output we want to post transform so you can see that the groom guides are transferred over and then the last thing will be the hair gen that's very simple we just select the hair gen copy that paste that over here disconnect it from the old and reconnect it to the new and we can hide our groom uh, guides and you can see there now that groom is transferred over so it's very simple for transferring guides over from one to the other now something worth noting is when you are setting up your masks you may need to make alterations uh, to the topology in which you are painting because uh, the heads will obviously be stretched and, and squashed and expanded in different ways you want to make sure that the hairlines line up in the way they should because obviously everyone's hairline is not the same so you would expect it not to be the same with your target mesh versus your source mesh so in this case it looks relatively fine so for whatever you're actually using this for whether it's for final renders in houdini or if you're going to something like unreal or unity or another video game engine uh, you can just export the guides i'll be doing a separate tutorial on that workflow for unreal a little bit later this week so make sure you're subscribed and looking out for that one it should come out a couple of days after this one 
And also, shout out to our patrons uh, this month. If you want to join them in supporting the channel, $5 a month will get you all the assets used, including this Houdini project scene uh, that I've created here, which you can use as a base for your transfers. And you can transfer this very exciting uh, groom onto your own metahumans or uh, whatever if you're using metahumans and uh, use the same process that I've shown here. So it's already set up for you, uh, ready to go. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.